Well, good morning, boys and girls. How the heck y'all doing today? BP here. Uh, we're heading on down the road again, obviously. You can see the road in front of us. Uh, just turned off of the number 11 highway onto number 2 north. Then we're heading up to Watrous, Saskatchewan. We gotta pick up a 55 foot, uh, I believe it's a heavy harrow. It's a harrow of some sort. How's that sound? And it is going uh, southeast of Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, which is about a two hour, two and a half hour drive one way. Something like that, anyways. That's if you're doing highway speed, but we won't be doing highway speed with this thing. So. Anyway, from everything that I'm seeing out in this neck of the woods, harvest is pretty much wrapping up for a lot of guys. There's not much, not much left to be done. And I'm looking out at some of these pastures out here. Here, I'll bring you guys up here. Like, that's a pasture. Look how yellow that sucker is, right? And I don't see no cattle out there, but then again, they might be down in the valley there someplace. Some flax over here. It's all been harvested and looks like they're either waiting to, to uh, bale it up or bunch it up, one or the other. The straw, straw swath is all that's sitting there. But yeah, we don't got no Right there, you can see in the mirror, there's no trailer behind us. We just got a trailer that decided to pull out in front of me. A little bit of green on there, but that would be second growth hay field. And there ain't much there for second growth. Looking pretty barren. Dry country. We're basically just north and west of of Kai Farmer Man's place. Good morning, Kylage. How you doing today? And hey, I just want to say thank you to Ryan over at Straight Pipe Bakers. If you guys get a chance, go check him out. Ryan gave us uh, a big old shutout yesterday. He managed to get his harvest done. Good job there, buddy. And now he's into getting his crowls all set up and built up out of steel and making things all nice and pretty. How's that sound? Chris, that there looked like the machine I'm supposed to be picking up. God dang it. Anyways. I'm going to let you guys go. I got to make a phone call up to Watrous. And we'll come back when I get there. We'll come bring you along for the hookup or, and check out the machine. Talk to you then. Alrighty. Well, here we are. Beacon going. Over dimension sign out front. This is a used right way. 55 foot heavy harrow. And I don't know about you guys, but by the looks of these tines, well, this one's broken. But in general, by the looks of them, she's not used very heavily. There's a lot of wear on these tines. Hey Ryan, sorry, but I'm not coming to your place with this one. I know you could use a heavy one. But they got another one here, it's a little bigger. It looks like about a 66, 65, 66 footer right there. If you want, just uh, phone them up and I'll bring it down to you. Or how about that packer on the far side? Actually, I might stop in and ask what the hell that sucker's worth. Uh, so, or they got an older Burgo right here. He don't look too bad. They got lots of stuff here. Well, I shouldn't really say that. There isn't that much. They're pretty much sold out of a lot of stuff. But 
There's no safety chain on this puppy, of course. Uh, so, but if it ever friggin' broke free and took off on you, I don't think I'd want to be hooked up with the safety chains anyways. So, anyway, I want to make a quick stop in the office and we're going to get rocking and rolling. So, we'll talk to you guys in a little while. How about that one, guys? Is that a heavy harrow? A right way? The exact same thing as what I'm towing? Getting hauled on a semi truck. And there he goes. So he can really cruise down the road. He can do highway speed with that thing. Oh well. I'll just continue on here at my 60, 65 kilometer an hour. And I'll get her there. This way I don't have any issues. Some guys say you could tow them at 80, but. I find you run the risk of hot hubs and hot hot tires to blow a tire out. That's all we need, right? Anyways, talk to you guys later. Hey guys. Getting a few raindrops here. Watch I don't take out that freaking uh, guardrail slash cable on the side there. We do stick out to the passenger side a little bit. You know, if you hit her, you just, I'm in a dodge. So if you can't, if you can't dodge it, ram it. And in this case, just keep on fucking going. <laughs> I'm sure this trucker behind me is going to be some pissed off because I'm only doing 60. And he probably wants to pick up all the speed he can get get through the bottom and have good speed going to climb the hill next that's coming up here shortly in case you lose your brakes that's the ramp to take you out and you just stop in the lake gone fishing out here a couple times didn't catch fuck all though Everybody says this is a great fishing hole, but I ain't never caught nothing out here. This is, uh, leads right up Buffalo Pound Campground is just over that way. Something dead here. Looks like a skunk. A little stinky. Now to get up this other side and la di da we still got a ways to go guys, so I'm going to let you go, we'll bring you back later. Look at that one guys. Those are some big bins. And there's a lot of them. That's a lot of bins out there. We're just gonna pull over here because I need to uh, phone the customer and get the lovely destructions to his to his farm. But yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of bins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Looks like about 34 of them suckers there. I don't know who this is, but that's a lot of freaking bins. Anyway, I got to phone the customer. We're at Moose Jaw. And we got to go south of Moose Jaw, I know that. But I got to phone the customer and find out exactly where he's at. Getting a little bit of raindrops here again, so... We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Check this out, guys. Look at these straw bales. And there's just oodles of them. Look how close they are together. And these are big bales, like a 72 inch or more. They're huge. There's a lot of bales out there. And it's two quarters, it's a half section. I just grabbed the phone and picked you up. 
and got the last half of it. But there's a lot of bales out there. But we're still going. We're on gravel here now for the next hour anyways. So we'll get her there. Slow and steady. We'll get her there. Talk to you in a bit. Alrighty guys, well we made her. Here she is, all unhooked and ready for action. The gentleman's just gotta get his tractor over here, hook up and put her to work. And I'm sure he might even do that today. Yeah. <laughs> so everything is good. We didn't have no flat tires. We didn't have nothing go in the ditch or fly off. So that's always a big bonus. And we didn't lose anything. And that one tire was a little bit cracked. You'll have to watch this tire. It's got some weather checking cracks in her. So and there she is, guys. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.